If you're trying to figure out something to do today, why not hit up the theater? Yeah, hundreds of millions of dollars are expected to be spent through Wednesday at the box office. That's just on popcorn, everybody. All right, the James Brandon Pope, he has some suggestions for the entire family. Hey guys, we're at the CMX Market Cinemas, one of the coolest places in the world to catch a flick. And as you know, the holiday season, a perfect time to catch a movie with the whole family. I got some picks for you to make your seasons bright. I was going to cuss and I got close to the nanny. Mary Poppins. We start with what's sure to be a super califragilistic, expialidocious time for the whole family. Hope I said that right. Mary Poppins returns to a depression era London to visit the kids she used to nanny for, now full grown adults with kids of their own. Lynn Manuel Miranda, Colin Firth, and Meryl Streep round out a really fun and nostalgic film. It's colorful, it's vibrant. It truly captures that Disney magic we've come to love from the original. Four out of five stars. It's rated PG. Permission to come aboard. Take to the high seas with DC and Warner Brothers' latest splash into the superhero realm, Aquaman. He's far from the joke he was for most of his comic history. Jason Momoa delivers a bad boy performance as Arthur Curry, a man caught between the surface world and his deep sea Atlantis roots. Now this is unlike any superhero movie you've ever seen before. DC has had some stinkers in the past, but it seems like they're finally on the right foot here. 3.5 out of 5 stars, a really good superhero movie. What to do? I'm going to steal their Christmas. Hey, come on, what says Christmas more than the Grinch himself? The classic Dr. Seuss story is reimagined by the creators of Despicable Me and The Secret Life of Pets. It's a story that was just made for computer animation and it's captured beautifully here with all the cartoony, wacky hijinks and of course, the signature Whoville heart. Perfect family film for Christmas, four out of five stars. It's Santa Claus. Live and in person. One night only. And if you just want to stay home, how about hopping on Netflix and checking out The Christmas Chronicles? It's got Kurt Russell as Santa Claus. What more is there to say? I'm kind of surprised it took this long for this to even happen, really. It's two kids hitching a wild ride with Kris Kringle and lots of hijinks afterward. Not perfect, but well worth a Yuletide stream. 2.5 out of 5 stars. All right, guys, so there you have it, my picks for your holiday viewing pleasure. So kick your seat back at the CMX market here at the Old Orchard and enjoy. For now, back to you guys.